to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I know that God is able to lift. I know that God is able to change. I know that God is able to turn a man's life around. But just believing that he would do it will not solve the problem. Lord, what is the principle? He says, good master, what must I do to be saved? That's a rich man. Because he knows there is, there is responsibility connected to everything. What must I do to be saved? What is my own part? Is God speaking to us? every dimension of the goodness of god you desire has conditions attached you must obtain knowledge of what those conditions are and then grace to obey thoroughly grace to obey thoroughly grace to obey thoroughly it is amazing the kinds of miracles that can happen in your life at the instance of your obedience there are many of you you shouldn't have been at this level if you had obeyed god he gave you an instruction in 2014 you argued it and said i will, I will obey you see the thing with life is life is a patient teacher it will keep recycling your pain till you learn 2014 this is the way out no 2015 again this is the way out no 2016 this is the way out no 2017 this is the way out today God is coming to you again how long will you wait when it is my desire to show you my goodness there are people one instruction they would have obeyed they would have been in their house now please don't feel bad I'm challenging you neglect to divine instructions can cost you more than you know for some it can even be a matter of life and death don't go this road obedience is very powerful i learned this as a principle if you learn to obey god if you learn to obey the word your life will become and remain a living wonder believe me when i tell you this i desire to walk in superior dimensions of grace and the anointing i desired it sincerely and i knew that it was in prophecy for me to walk in these dimensions but i knew that just hoping and wishing i would only waste my time and waste the time of a generation and I began to search what are the principles that govern the manifestation of the power of God in a man's life genuine authentic spiritual power and I began to find them I began to find them and I said Lord grant me the grace it may not be easy but I, I obtained the grace and goodness I am grateful for that obedience because you see many people wait to eat from your obedience obedience is powerful the benefits go beyond you are we together i came here this morning lending my voice with your pastor to let you know that if god has done this for this church then it's time for your own life to reflect it you cannot be in a ministry that has been so greatly helped by God and then remain the same. The testimony from your life is what gives credence to the anointing that is upon this house. No, it's nobody like you, Lord. It's nobody like you, Lord. Lord. 
you must pray and desire the grace for complete obedience obedience to divine instructions and obedience to scriptural principles it's not only principles you need there are things in your life only instructions will bring please hear what i'm telling you and for some of you god will be giving you instructions for some of you the prophet of god will come and instructions will come be diligent to work with instructions when people go to meet a herbalist i want to win an election or i want to be promoted to the highest position usually he does not share principles with them you say all right what you want is a possibility he will first search the realm of the spirit you say give me two minutes and you will search the realm of the spirit and say i see that there is space for you you don't say thank you sir and you walk away you are waiting for instructions we have enough intelligence to know that you do not go to the devil and just say i'm aware now that there is vacancy what is the instruction and he will tell you all right for this kind of miracle you want i'm not a foolish herbalist i've been doing this work for a long time so if you are not ready there are some instructions that are so hard they will first ask you are you willing you watch it in nigerian film you don't have to go to a herbalist praise the lord do you have the stamina to obey this this kind of instruction and you say i'm that desperate you say all right number one your son is coming here ah you said you are ready okay number two you are going to bring a cow number three you buy a bag of rice number four you bring a million naira can you do all of this let me think about it say okay i give you two weeks it's your business you are the one who wants the lifting and the man goes to think about it he compares the pain of the instruction versus what he wants and says it's worth it he would drag his son drag the cow drag the money and then the man will laugh and say finally and conjure some things the man returns back and not even you except you are a believer you will not be able to stop that man because realities his obedience was part of the ingredients that went into that charm it's not just what they mixed his his obedience also came as an ingredient and all of a sudden you find out that a director in the office is acting as though he's not in his right mind promoting a man who is not qualified anyhow and the man is just laughing at people anyhow and he said oh dear you don't know the price and then some ignorant person will come and say i assure you we are going to have a board meeting and bring you down then he remembers his pain and says you are joking you don't know what happened in the secret you don't know the gravity of obedience that sponsors this result his confidence is based on what he knew that he did so there are times that god will tell you you want a supernatural ministry is for the taking and it is a reality in christ but there is a price to pay are you willing here is the anointing to heal here is the anointing to prophesy you see we live in a generation where we want everything free it's not true let me tell you sincerely there is a spiritual price for dimensions in the spirit as any businessman they would tell you customers are free but bringing them to you is not free For some of you, it's the price of prayer to return back to the secret place. While others are sleeping, he will wake you. No, not for the kind of anointing you want. The kind of anointing you want, praying one hour, praying 30 minutes, praying once a week. No, sir. These demons will kill you as if you don't exist. Where are you going? I know what I'm pressing towards. For some of you, while others are sleeping, God will wake you and say, open that scripture, begin to study because of the kind of ministry I'm giving you. For some of you, God will cause you, you will buy books that are taller than you and you will sit down and God will say, read every one of them because the kind of businessman I want to make out of you, there is something, there is, there is a species of, of kingdom wealth I want to bring out of you. Obedience. There is a price behind exploits in the kingdom. There is a real price a price of diligence a price of death a price of surrender a price of giving your all abraham you want to become father of nations take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest 
and offer him upon a mountain he was willing to take that risk the question i have for you is that what price are you willing to pay in partnership with the holy ghost apostle i want a crowd in my ministry you may be saying i want god to bring people from everywhere my brother and my sister it takes more than greek and hebrew it takes more than eloquence and oratory you may have all of that and be surprised the same way you have all the provisions in your store and yet customers will not come because the customers are not just bodies they are spirits am i boring you i'm opening your eyes to a real spiritual principle that when you handle you see that's why many times when you talk about great people they don't even respond to you it's god that will punish you the altar of their sacrifice is also a disciplinarian it can bring order to your life he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying you do not know how this man became my anointed do my prophets know how hallelujah I desire the grace in my life that when I speak over people's lives it will become as I have said I said is, is there such a grace I found it in the life of several people from history from scripture the Bible says for Samuel pastor said that none of his word what kind of a man is that do you know how much of a blessing you will be if everything you say upon people comes to pass but I found out there was a price a real price and I said whatever that price is I obtain grace from God let's go for when you find that grace now you can tell people be blessed they will say amen as if they are joking and come out with their hands on their head and say what was upon my life when I left grace There is a price look at the price that politicians pay during election they travel to almost every local government almost every state healthy or not tired or not are we together they sweat around morning afternoon evening that is the price it takes to be a governor or a president or whatever it is no matter how capable you are you will not overcome that price you have to pay it Jesus, grant that my sons will sit at your left and your right. Jesus would have said, wonderful, what a mother and what a good request. He said, can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism? Church is quiet. I hope your silence means you are meditating on what I'm saying. Not that you are saying, why did he say this? I wish I were lying, but this is no lie. It is the truth. There is a real price. There is a price for favor <laughs> there is a price for favor it is not every dimension of favor that is unmerited mm -mm. if you have that theology you are going to be disappointed there are dimensions of favor that are very merited in fact the only dimension of favor that is unmerited is favor that reveals itself as the saving grace and even that dimension you must verbalize your reception Today, there are people going to hell even though Jesus Christ is still Lord because if they do not open their mouth and show their interest and believe him as a savior and as Lord they will still go to hell favor is beyond saying I am favored no there are conditions Proverbs 13 and verse 15 is one of the principal conditions that govern favor Proverbs 13 and 15 it says good understanding brings favor it says but the way of the transgressor is hard i desire to see god lift us in supernatural dimensions we're going to be praying in a few minutes this is our final session together and i want to pray over our lives i i'm trusting god I really pray from the depth of my heart that someone will really experience what the grace of God can do 
in the life of someone who is it, it may not be so for everybody but there are few people pastors are who have really encountered grace to know what grace can do ah if if the grace of god meets you honestly speaking your life will become a marvel and a wonder first to yourself some of you are trusting god for all kinds of graces the grace to heal the grace for speed the grace for liftings there are graces that that govern these dimensions of results you must pray for it there is a grace that can give you your own your own anything Rehoboth God has given me my own space if that grace is not upon you you can save even if it's a billion naira to build a house you will be surprised you will never be able to build one house because it takes more than a block and cement it takes grace Adonai Lamb of God you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords. Hallelujah. We are praying, but the Lord just showed me two people. There are two people here. There is a call of God upon your life, but there are certain graces you have been seeking. You have been seeking these graces i know that there's there's um what they call it social distance so even if you bring people under the anointing just let's try to respect it but i don't want to waste the remaining time there are two people here as i was just singing that song the lord just opened my eyes and i saw that there were people who must drink of this grace listen it's a grace that will drive you to prayer it's a grace that will drive you to study bring them out Shelas cobranda skela shalibra atea Parija nekes calibara has cobariata Shalabaroda zeke de baya. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. He's bringing them out by himself. This is a dimension of signs and wonders. It happens by the Spirit of God. Shelabaratusia da balada. Casting ground, lifting hands, bowing hearts, it's what I've come to do. Casting ground, bring them out. Lifting hands, bowing hearts, it's all we come to do. Hallelujah. Please bring them out. There is a reason. You invited me here this is a ministry of signs and wonders is so that the Lord himself will shift you to very strange dimensions there are four ladies the spirit of prophecy this is what I am seeing for one of you, it was on your mother. Please bring them out. Well, help them, whether you are an usher or not. Please help them. You don't have to be an usher. Bring them out. That grace that was on your mother is coming on you. Bring them out. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. Looked around and suddenly realized That you've been so good to me ah. Your mercy is everlasting Undenying Listen I join my faith with the prophet of God and I declare here at this conference I shift you to new levels all of you in front here step into new levels and for everyone following and watching here in the main auditorium and at the overflows 
be shifted to new dimensions in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the power of God is on a lady now I'm seeing bring her she's wearing green green complete green she's at this side bring that lady the Lord is revealing to me a lady wearing complete green who is that with a nose mask is there someone like that who is Olamide Olamide I'm hearing a name Olamide is there someone like that Olamide I'm hearing that name Olamide please be patient we have to pray Olamide this is the name that God is giving to me my dear look at me where are you coming from Huh? from lady love from where I want to pray for you because your life is about to change are you a member of this church my goodness you will never forget this encounter I stretch my hands may grace come upon your life and shift you to a strange dimension in the realm of the spirit receive that grace and step into that dimension of possibility in the name of Jesus Christ who is Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan there's someone I don't know if it's your name or your son name Jonathan please when you have that person I want to talk to that person right now and then I'm hearing a name Bolu who is Bolu I'm hearing a name Bolu is there someone like that that should be female am I right please who is that I want to speak to you what's your name Huh? Your son in is Jonathan. Your son name is Jonathan. Where are you from? I'm from Undo State. Undo State. Can I pray for you, ma? Please don't come out at random, eh? Make sure we know why so that we don't mess up this place. Why are they here? Your mother? Who is Bolu? Oh, Bolu is both male and female. Okay. This is it's none of these people, but I'm, I'm, I will still pray for you. But the person I'm seeing, someone in the overflow, the power of God is coming on that person. The overflow, please carry the person and bring the person here. There is a prophetic word. The overflow, the, that's the one. In, uh, I think that overflow, a strong anointing is coming on that person. Please quickly bring the person. We'll work with time. Madam, I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Ah, the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm speaking to you that in the name of Jesus, every reproach of darkness. Help the person who will run out now by the spirit of God an anointing will come on him he will literally be running please hold him whether you are an usher or not please this is happening by the spirit there is a prophecy for that person from the congregation the power of God will come on that person right now please bring the person help the person please hallelujah please help help yes I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I declare an end comes to your captivity once and for all this is a solution arena and I stand and agree with the grace upon his choice servant that this comes to an end right now in the name of Jesus what's your name come where are you coming from the overflow, the overflow. I want to pray for you what do you do my dear I just finished secondary school I just finished secondary school secondary school yes. let me pray for you the grace that is on Esther is on you you're going to become a lady connected to royalty and I pray madam shout Jesus as loud as you can let that oppression go out of her life now in the name of Jesus Christ please open your mouth in one minute everything that must live your life Please open your mouth. We're a church of prayer. Lift your voice and begin to make decrees. In the name of Jesus, under this unction and under this grace, in the name of Jesus, 
every planting that is not by God is someone praying every planting that is not by God let it be uprooted right now overflow pray those following online pray hallelujah I need to pray for you because I'm praying for another set of people now for all of you who are here I decree and declare look at me madam just lift your hands I rebuke death from your family now I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirit of death be lifted from this family in the name of Jesus there is please you, you can go back you can go back to your, your seat huh? as many of you hold on please there's someone who is going to shout under the anointing I want you to bring that it's a loud shout to the hearing of everybody and there is a reason I want to pray on that person the Lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of death over families over families as many of them who can go just those who cannot go just just leave them just leave them Madam, come. It's time for your life to change. What's your name, madam? What, who is Ty? I don't give her the mic. Who is Tayo? I'm seeing Tayo written on your head. What's your name? Omo Tayo. Uh, I, 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 do I know you? Yes, Tayo. That's what I'm seeing. On, that's your name. Where are you? You're a member of this church? Very well. Wow. There is a door that I'm seeing opening up for you and your family. It's a very strange season of honor. Hear what I'm telling you, madam. I stand by the God of heaven to tell you by this time next year, your entire family, everything that has to do with you, you would have been lifted to a dimension of grace. I stretch my hands, receive that grace. Take that fire right now in the name of Jesus. Open doors, open doors beyond your imagination. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's someone's brother who wants to contest for chairmanship. Who is that person? I'm seeing like a like I don't know if there's any maybe local government election or something like that. And there's someone related to a gentleman. Please, if you have that person very quickly, we have to we have to pray and wrap up. my dear lift your hands where you are this fair lady you lift your hands i'm seeing oil coming on you take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same never be the same in the name of jesus i roll away reproach from your life by the you don't have to bring her out by the spirit of grace i declare it comes to an end now it comes to an end now you're the one contesting sir your brother where is he in the name of Jesus Christ we agree ah can I talk to you tell your brother to be careful with kidnappers I'm not a prophet of doom please make sure why is he here your brother too but tell your brother to be careful with kidnappers I'm seeing someone among his friends making an arrangement so that they will kidnap him and they are demanding for a huge ransom tell him to pray God reveals like this to help us I, I hope you understand it's not to scare us sir can I prophesy to you I know that you came here to collect an award but it's more than an award I'm seeing three four months your season is changing even in your place of work this is what I'm seeing by the Spirit of God. I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the Spirit. And every time I see people climb a ladder in the realm of the Spirit, it signifies that a new season is opening up for you. In the name of Jesus here at Holy Ghost Christian Center, we stand in faith and we agree. The Lord brought you not only to collect an award, 
but in the name of Jesus for this season to change it says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet it were preserved so I decree and declare over you by the spirit of grace I stretch my hands to you and I declare according to the word of the Lord may the Lord surprise you he will surprise you in an extraordinary way in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you sir I pray for you the Lord is showing you mercy the Lord is showing you help in the name of Jesus now I want to pray am I wasting your time I'm going to pray for you there are people here under the yokes of darkness listen the Bible says for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy that everything sitting on your destiny that should not be there God is about to clear it away are you ready now I'm about to pray and the power of God is coming on people God is delivering people right now please I want you to bring them out at the count of three you will call that name Jesus I'm seeing altars on fire I want you to bring them here and then begin to pray father I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice help them please who is under any yoke of oppression under any cause under any manifestation of darkness at the count of three as you shout Jesus may fire come from heaven and bring you deliverance help them whether you are an usher or not please once someone is close to you it's your responsibility are you ready to shout Jesus one two three shout Jesus I command those altars be gone now be gone now be gone now bring them out be gone now every planting every yoke of darkness fashioned against you fashioned against your family hear the word of the Lord I come by the word of prophecy be delivered now bring them out be delivered now while you pray be delivered now Be delivered now please look at me I'm seeing a big part lock in the realm of the spirit and the Lord is telling me destinies have been locked but they are about to be open I'm seeing the number 12 the fire of God is coming on them bring them out in the name of Jesus every destiny that has been locked every destiny that has refused to find visibility right now in the name of Jesus Christ that destiny be open now be open now bring them out be open now open your mouth begin to pray open your mouth begin to pray in the name of Jesus it's a new season for me are you praying are you praying are you praying I'm still praying. Hallelujah. Listen. Olatunji. Olatunji. I believe there should be a name like that. Whose name is that? Olatunji. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that with that name? Olatunji. This is what I'm seeing. And that name belongs to you. There is a miracle that God wants to release for that person right now or Latunji I don't know if you're following online or you're inside or in the overflow but the Lord is asking me to prophesy to Ola Tunji that a season is about to change for you a supernatural season is about to change for you a supernatural season is about to change tap this gentleman for me please we have to hurry up just tap him my friend look at me stand up where are you coming from? Huh? Lagos. What's your name? Chigozi. 
this is help him i'm seeing a strong altar you see someone who comes like this this is a fine young man but what i'm seeing because i'm seeing skulls and i'm seeing them say this gentleman will never rise and even his family will never rise but we stand here at the solution arena i stretch my hands the spirit that is back of the captivity of your life and your family i command it out now in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to speak that if there is any altar that is saying you will not rise here at the solution arena in the name that is above all names receive your freedom now hallelujah you were about to leave your house this morning and the lord asks you to carry photos is it of your family or your loved ones who is that person come with it i want to pray for you so we'll round up i'm seeing who is that is there someone like that let's verify first okay come for there is a god that reveals secrets who is this okay my first child, Olamide, you mentioned Olamide the other time, sir. This is my, my picture, this is my son. Can I pray for you, madam? Mama, please come this way. The Lord is about to bring laughter to your family. I'm seeing a woman here, three years, you are yet to conceive. Now, I know there are people who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, but I'm seeing a particular person three years right now because of the peculiarity of your situation god wants to visit you who is that person please come it's your time to receive right now according to the time of life my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches in the glory he will put his angels charge on me Hallelujah. Please stand up, madam. Oh dear. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus. The destroyer will not come near your family. Madam, is this your son? What is his name? Is uh, South Africa, sir? Just I'm asking you, yes, what's sir. his name? Oluwamayowa. I separate him from any company that wants to destroy his life. Hear what you understand what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus. There is no trouble that this gentleman will have with government on account of wrong company. In the name of Jesus, may my God preserve him and preserve your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Mama, I want to pray for you. I know we may not have the time to pray, but God has spoken. I want to just pray whatever it is that is connected to these photos. I want you to believe by faith that the hand of God is coming on your life. Madam, why are you here? Hello. Huh? Conceive. Concerning conceive. Where is the pain you feel at the lower part of your stomach? Hello. Huh? Hello. Give her the mic. Is that true? Yes. How long has it been? It has been like three years. Like three years. It's one of the reasons why there is a problem. But God is going to do a miracle for you. Yeah. Because as I stood here, the Lord is telling me that you've been going through there is, is a medical condition that is leading to that pain. It's not just an ordinary pain, but I have to pray for you. But this is not the person I'm seeing, no, even though I'm going to pray for you. The person I'm seeing is not this. Mama, in the name of Jesus, for the photos that you are holding, I pray and agree with you here at the Solution Arena. Divine visitation. Supernatural visitation. Help this woman. Ah, who am I seeing on a sick bed? I'm seeing someone's loved one. I don't know if it's their mother or something. And I have to pray because this looks like cancer. This situation, you are a gentle man. You are wearing like brown. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. You are a tall, slender gentleman who is that where is your mother she's in Oko state huh? Oko state say it now my mom is in Oko state 
What's wrong with her? It's my uncle is fighting cancer. Well, I will pray with you, but this person, I'm seeing the person lying down. Huh? Huh? With cancer. Yes, Where? my mother in Benway State. I have to pray for you. Ah. This morning. This thing is this because in the vision I'm seeing, I'm already seeing her inside a coffin. We have to pray. Look at me. I bring you the life and the power of this kingdom. And in the name of Jesus, the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that that grace rests upon you and your mother right now. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, whether by sickness, please believe it all. The times that we live in, you need this prophetic cover. Whether by sickness, whether by acts of terrorism, whether by acts of the wickedness of men, I declare it will not come near your dwelling. It will not come near your dwelling. In the name of Jesus. My friend, look at me. I pray for your uncle. In the name of Jesus. May God take him off from the bed of affliction. And preserve him. Preserve his soul. In the name of Jesus. Mama. In Jesus name, back pain is leaving you now. I'm seeing an anointing coming on your head back pain huh in the name of jesus how long has it been like pain around your like yeah. two two weeks i will pray for you in the name of jesus it goes right now never to return if you are sick in your body lay your hands there right now i have just maybe about six minutes or so just lay your hands there i'm seeing a book been opened in front of you this lady wearing red that's a book of remembrance that lady listen to me give God your entire attention and take God seriously and watch what he will do in your life this is the prophetic word for you but in this season the book of remembrance please be careful so you don't drag them to injure themselves what is happening to you is also happening to that lady I pray here, whoever has been forgotten, let me prophesy on you. In the name of Jesus, whatever has made men forget you, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, people you are blessed who have forgotten you, people you were there for who have forgotten you, between now and the end of March, hear me, I speak to you by the spirit of grace, may the book of remembrance be open, be open, be open. Be open, be open over your life and over your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord show you mercy. Let me pray for the sick. Lay your hands now. Father, I stand upon this anointed ground. You don't have to bring them out now. In the name of Jesus, everyone who is sick, believe in miracles. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. You break every chain, break every chain. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare everyone here who is sick in your body, I rebuke the spirit that is back of every infirmity. Shout a believing amen. And right now, I decree and declare from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now blood conditions be healed now genotype issues be healed now hepatitis be healed now fibroids and all kinds of growths around the body be healed now eye conditions be healed now 
ear conditions be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every other medical condition in the name of Jesus we bring it under judgment and we declare healing by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me pray and speak over your life I believe in prophecy I truly believe in prophecy father I stand in faith ah. I'm seeing someone give this church a bus a, this is what I'm seeing as I just saw a vision and I saw a bus entering as a seed this is what I'm seeing I'm saying it in the open the word of the Lord if it is from the Lord does not lie I use what I just saw as a point of contact that everything that is yet to come into your life I stand by the spirit of grace and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it appear in your life now everyone here trusting God for employment I stand by the grace of God and I declare by this time next year you return with joy you return employed I pray for every business here hear the word of the Lord is a season of increase for you I place prophecy upon the works of your hands in the name of Jesus experience increase can I pray for your spiritual life listen I have about two minutes left we will not just bless you and pray for things your life and your relationship with God your fire and your fervency no matter what else is right in your life if your spiritual life is in trouble you are in trouble therefore I pray whatever has destroyed your fire altar the grace to fast the grace to pray may that grace come upon you now the grace to study the grace to give yourself into the things of God in the name of Jesus receive that grace I declare that you will walk in signs and wonders in the name of Jesus help them please I pray for every worker under this commission you are a worker under this commission my Bible says a worker is worthy of his wages therefore I decree and declare for every worker under this prophetic grace step into new seasons open doors greater dimensions of lifting in the name of Jesus and I pray finally listen to me for all those who have given all those who have sacrificed resources I was just speaking with the pastor briefly in the office and I said I can only imagine how much you spent the millions and millions of naira that must have gone in to make this thing happen it is not just enough to give there should be a blessing that comes to you for giving therefore I pray for everyone here connected to this assembly sons and daughters of the prophet connected whether in this ministry or not and all those who have participated and are participating I release a blessing upon you open heavens upon your life open heavens upon your family open heavens upon your spiritual life in the name of Jesus I declare that you will have good measure pressed down shaken together and even running over may the Lord show you mercy in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost Christian Center the Lord bless you I love you thank you so much pastor most farewell dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him 
that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.